Today I'm going to be sharing five new hot crypto projects that you should have on your radar. Now I know when all of these projects come out of stealth mode at the end of the bear market going into the bull, it can be very hard to keep on top of what is new and what is springing into life. So in today's video, I'm going to share five that I believe have potential to be big over the next 12 to 24 months. Now, if you do enjoy the video, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, but without wasting any more time, let's get started with number one. So first up on the list in no particular order is Satoshi VM. Now this is an L2 for the Bitcoin ecosystem. And this one ticks a lot of boxes when it comes to narratives. First of all, you have the BRC20 narrative, which is extremely hot. And I expect this to continue throughout 2024. Next up, you have the L2 hype. So we've seen a lot of noise around Manta recently in the Celestia ecosystem. And I think this could be the equivalent within the Bitcoin ecosystem. And lastly, we have the airdrop hype, the airdrop narrative. And if we have a look on the website here, we can see at the top that testnet is live. Now we have noticed in the past that testnet users, those early adopters usually get rewarded with airdrops pretty handsomely. So it's worth keeping that in mind. Also, the other thing with testnet is it is not real funds. So it's definitely worth keeping that in mind because it isn't actually going to cost you anything apart from your time. Now, if we move on to the Twitter feed, and the one reason I'm sharing this really is so you can see the legit handle and don't get scammed. But if we scroll down, you know, 93K followers, I'm pretty sure this only come out of stealth mode about a week ago. So it's attracting a lot of attention around the globe. But if we scroll down, you don't have to scroll far. You'll see some statistics from the testnet so far with 350 Bitcoin being bridged and over 150,000 transactions already. And then a little bit further down, you'll see this tweet. You won't have to scroll far for it, but this will basically give you a guide of how you can bridge over to the Bitcoin ecosystem through Satoshi VM and be eligible for that testnet criteria. So I would definitely move quickly on this. This is a project that's going to move very fast. If you want to get involved in that, don't waste any time. Start bridging, start using that testnet, following the guide and get involved. Before we go any further in this video, there are a couple of things that I need to mention. So first of all is a full disclaimer that the projects mentioned in this video, I am either an early investor or an airdrop participant either now or in the future. The reason I mention this is because I'm only going to talk about projects where I have skin in the game, where I'm bullish, because if I was bullish and didn't buy in, then that doesn't make an awful lot of sense. So just wanna make that super clear before we move on. And then the other side of it is you may be watching this thinking, these projects are great, I like the look of them, but how do I get exposure? How does the average retail participant get in at the lowest prices possible and that video will be coming later this week so please do subscribe to the channel put the notifications on because that will be coming towards the end of the week where i'll be sharing three different ways of how you can either get the earliest exposure possible to these projects or even tokens for free. So stay tuned for that. Second project on the list is Hydro, and this is within the SUI ecosystem, not the injective ecosystem. So not to get confused there, as there are two different projects with the same name. However, the reason we're focusing on the SUI ecosystem Hydro today, formerly known as Gava Network, is because of what they're actually looking to achieve. So if you look on the website, we can see that they are looking to allow publishers or content creators to monetize their time spent which re reduces the reliance on adverts now let's be honest nobody likes adverts it's a very web two way for content creators or publishers to earn so i really like the fact that they are disrupting that now the other side of it here is and i'll leave the link to the website in the description so you can dive into this in more detail but the other thing here as well is looking at the SUI ecosystem. So we've seen the likes of Injective and Celestia have good runs recently. And a lot of that attention turned to the ecosystems and the airdrops specifically within them ecosystems. And more recently, we've seen the SUI chart start to pick up. And I feel like it's SUI's time to thrive. Now, when SUI does cool down, I expect a lot of that attention to then move to the ecosystem and the projects within that ecosystem. So a lot of that attention and money will follow. And I believe they'll be looking at projects like Hydro to invest in. So that's just something to keep in mind, but a project that definitely should be on the radar. 
Next up on the list is BFI Labs, another project tapping into that BRC20 narrative that I mentioned earlier. So starting on the website, to give you a very quick overview, this project is a BRC20 trading terminal functional with your favorite crypto wallets. So this is the likes of MetaMask. And the thing here is it's really bridging that gap and making a more user friendly experience when it comes to the Bitcoin ecosystem. So I'm definitely all for that. Now, if we move on to the website, one thing that definitely catches the eye is the fact that they have this part here saying start farming points. Now, point systems, airdrops, however you want to phrase it, that is something that most people People want to participate in because it is an opportunity for free tokens so that is not something I would be overlooking and then further on from that if you're not aware of what 8 terminal is then you've probably been living under a rock recently but 8 terminal is an IDO platform where a lot of the more recent very successful projects have been launching and giving people the opportunity to invest in a fair launch in a public sale. So if we scroll down on the website, we can see Satoshi VM, a project we mentioned earlier. And then we've also got B5 Labs and the participation is currently open. So it's definitely worth checking that out because if you do score some allocation into that, it could be highly profitable. Now, the thing I like about this is if we look at previous projects that have completed on Ape Terminal, a lot of their total raises have been 100k, 200k, the highest one being 500k for BRC app, but this has a $1 million raise. So there's a lot more potential and a lot more, you know, a higher success rate when it comes to participation. So it's definitely worth checking that out. But we've tapped into a little bit of the video that I mentioned that is going to come later this week there, sharing some ways to get exposure. But I just thought it was useful because this is a project that's going to move very fast. So definitely do your own research, check it out. But I think B5 Labs is one that should not be overlooked. This one may come as no surprise to a lot of people, but it is Manta Network. So their airdrop campaign recently come to an end and the token is set to launch on Thursday. So a lot of hype going on at the moment with this one. Now, when it comes to the project itself, I'm bullish on the Celestia ecosystem. I'm bullish on L2s in general. And this one obviously ticks a lot of boxes. And I do think that this has the potential to be a blue chip or even maybe just like a top 50 project because, you know, there is so much hype. And when we look at their Twitter bio, we can see that they are backed by Polychain, Binance Labs and have big partnerships with some big players. So I do think that Manta is one that should not be overlooked. Of course, it's not going to be that 50 to 100x play that a lot of people are looking for but when it comes to a solid investment a blue chip investment for this next cycle manta is definitely on the list and last but not least on the list is ring fence which in my opinion is going to be a big ai play now if we look on the website the waitlist is currently open so you can sign up with an email there to find out more especially when this project and product launches but scrolling down, there is one sentence here that really sums it up nicely for me. So this is huge when it comes to content creators who are looking to use content, but also those who are providing the content. Now, for the first time, you have the power to determine how AI uses your content, allow other creators to use your work in their AI projects or restrict its use. Anytime your authorized content is used, you get paid. So this is a big incentive for the content creators when it comes to people putting together that AI content, but then for others who are looking to use, legitimately use content for their own use, then they can use their credits to basically pay for that. And those who rightfully made it will be rewarded and paid. So I really like the system and the setup that they've got here. And I do think that when it comes to content creation moving forward, AI is going to play a big part in that. And this project, this product more specifically, I do think is going to be huge there. So definitely one to keep an eye on if one, you're into content creation, but also looking at some big AI plays in this next cycle. And now we're just going to share a bonus project, which is Helix within the Injective ecosystem. Now, a token has not been confirmed at this point, but I do think if you are tapping into the Injective ecosystem and making swaps, staking, that kind of stuff, it's definitely worth having Helix on the radar because if they do launch a token, they're probably going to airdrop and look for people who have actively been using their product. So when it comes to trading, swaps, perpetuals, 
all that kind of stuff. It's definitely worth considering using Helix. I use it organically anyway, especially when I'm swapping tokens around or buying new projects within the Injective or Celestia ecosystem, but it's definitely worth paying attention to it, using it, because I do think if they do drop a token, there is likely going to be a very successful airdrop associated with it. So just a little bonus there to go and check out. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully it was useful to share some projects that you could potentially be keeping an eye on. Please go away, do your own research, figure out which ones fit your bias or your narrative, because one person may be interested in AI, but not really interested in BRC20 tokens. So don't just focus into all of them figure out what you like the look of and then go from there now like I mentioned there will be a video following up late this week that will explain more information about how you can actually get exposure to these projects in a few different ways as early and efficiently as possible so please do like subscribe put the notifications on that video will be dropping but in the meantime please do trade safe invest safe and I'll catch you in the next one